Marine Chief John L. Lewis arrives at the United Mine Workers building as the coal strike draws to a dramatic close. The crippling 29-day tie-up ends as Lewis meets with Senator Bridges, selected as umpire in the dispute involving miners' pensions. Senator Bridges, who drafted a compromise settlement, meets with both sides at union headquarters to announce acceptance. Trustee for the operators, Ezra Van Horn, agreed to settlement which sends miners back to the pits. Mr. Lewis presents the union side. The mine workers, somewhat regretfully on many points, voted aye to the adoption of the Senator's resolution. We will carry out unreservedly our part of the obligation. The following telegram has already been sent to the thousands of local unions throughout the entire country and uh, being delivered by Western Union now. Each local union. Pensions granted. <coughs> the agreement is now honored. Signed by the speaker. That's all I care to say. Senator Bridges is shown with House Speaker Martin, instrumental in bringing miners and operators together for the surprise settlement. Governmental contempt case against Lewis continues, but back to work movement begins and vitally needed coal is again mined. The four week crisis is resolved. The nation looks forward to full speed ahead. There's work to do at home and abroad.